because it's very disappointing, it is very disappointing, that the city of Westminster, which has been for decades one of the best-run cities, not just in London, but in the world, and if they had cities on the moon, it would be one of the best run in our particular part of the solar system. But as far as I know, they don't yet have cities on the moon, so I'll stick to the world for the city of Westminster. A fine, noble city run by great conservative leaders who provided low council tax, low poll tax before that, low rates before that. They were absolutely, my honourable friend from a sedentary position says community charge, and I admire uh, his pedantry, but I'm delighted. <laughs> I'm delighted that there are people in this house who are more pedantic than I am. It is an admirable trait, Mr. Deputy Speaker, and one that I fear is not encouraged often enough. Um, in, in, of course. Oh, right. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I'm very grateful to my honourable friend for giving way. I was merely trying to uh, correct his, his description of that wonderful piece of legislation, and he may well not have heard our right honourable and noble friend, the Baroness Thatcher, who said she still referred to it as a community charge yeah, because, yeah, she was, yeah, yeah. because she was a great fan of the Polish people and would never have tried to tax them. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, so, so did Meryl. That, that is, of course, extremely uh, wise, as anything the great lady says is wise. In ancient Rome, the Senate had a practice of deifying.